पल पन विसरे नहीं जो विसारी जुगल चरण सोल चिन्ह जेह नजर समीपे रहो अमारियह नजर समीपे रहो अमारियह घनश्याम महाराज नीजे हरि कृष्ण महाराज नीजे स्वामी नारायण भगवान नीजे सुप्रीम ऑल माइटी बलवेड घनश्याम महाराज द पाथ मेकर टू आर लिबरेशन ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट विथ आर आत्मा आर पूज्य पाद गुरु जी पूज्य संतो पूज्य भगत जी एंड ऑल यू डिवोरीज जय स्वामी नारायण Our whole life is like a big laboratory. How so? You're probably wondering. Well, first and foremost, let's think. What occurs in a laboratory? What exactly happens in a laboratory? Experiments. First thing that comes to our mind is those test tubes and various scientists in these white coats running around with these funky glasses to protect their eyes from chemicals and various different experiments occurring this is an ordinary laboratory many experiments happen trials and errors occur various tests happen and after all these experiments some kind of result occurs good or bad at times more often bad than good because in a laboratory you're experimenting you're finding out new things you're researching new things to test our spiritual level we must also experiment various factors to get a clean result our life is laboratory but moreover our spiritual life in that matter is a laboratory there are so many aspects to religion that one cannot just do or one cannot just get by with one single aspect aspects like dharma aspects like bhakti gnana vairagya mahima affection faith so on and so forth shri maharaj is looking at these aspects and seeing what levels we possess one day in the near future hopefully when we do possess the levels that maharaj wants us to then we will be able to attain him easily but it's all about trial and error finding out what we have in us and what we're lacking finding out if our gnan is low and if our bhakti is high when we experiment and we look inside of ourselves suppose uh call it's called antardrashti when we look inside ourselves then we find out our true self see giving this example that our life our spiritual life is a big laboratory this is just simple terms to milk to help you understand but in reality what we're doing is looking inside of ourselves finding those things that need to be tweaked finding those minuses and making them into 
plus or positives. The experiment or test we want to be performing today in our lab is of faith. Faith probably goes along as the base experiment or as the base you can say factor in pleasing God, understanding God, you can say that attaining God, but you need all the other aspects to solidify faith in God. So we want to test, we want to see how our faith is, but the best way to do so is not so that I talk about faith and you understand it, no. But if we go back in time and view a charitra of Maharaj in Sriji Maharaj's time and the devotees that engaged with him and the faith that they kept, through that charitra, through this incident, we'll be, under, we'll be able to calculate and estimate how much faith we have compared to this devotee of Maharaj. After estimating and calculating, one can move and strive forward in developing such faith like the devotee that we're going to talk about today. Her name was Vajiba, and she was a female devotee from the village of Vajapur in northern Gujarat. She always served any traveling bhavas or sadhus who visited the village, meaning this female devotee at first was not of the Swamiran sect, but she had a bhavna or she had a, a desire that whoever came, whoever had renounced the world, may it be of any sampradaya sect, I want to serve them. So once the Paramansas of Maharaj Ramda Swami visited the village, Seeing his saintly lifestyle, Vajiba and her husband became staunch devotees of Swaminarayan. Now after, Ramda Swami came, saw the sadhuta of Ramda Swami, viewing and prospecting from afar, she decided that this is the right religion sect for me, the Swaminarayan sect. Now if any bhavas who smoked beedis or used opium or had any other kind of irregular habits visited her home for some kind of obviously food or clothing or a night to stay she would deny she would say that go away this is the home of Bhagwan Swami Narayan Maharaj heard of this and decided to test her resolve dressed as a brahmachari Maharaj visited Vajiba's house Maharaj came and knocked on the door. Vajiba opened and the Brahmachari said, I'm a pilgrim. Please let me stay here for a night. Move on, Vajiba resorted. There are many phonies like you that come here. Serving them doesn't earn Kalyan. If you want liberation, surrender yourself to Bhagwan Swami Narayan. This is the answer that Vajiba gave. gave. She had so much resolute faith in Bhagwan Swaminarayan just after prospecting, observing a sadhu of Bhagwan Swaminarayan that she would not accept no one else any further into her home. But she did not know that this Brahmachari was Maharaj himself because she had never saw Maharaj. See, she had never even had the darshan of Maharaj. So then, how would she know? Maharaj said, My lady, meaning the Brahmachari, My lady, it seems that you have been fooled by someone. Swami Haran is not God. He is. Hey, mind your tongue. Vajibai interrupted. If you say another word, I'll kick you all out of our rubbish to the middle of nowhere. I'm a loyal devotee of Swami Narayan. Even Maharaj was amazed at this woman's faith. Still, he continued softly, Mother, I won't say a word, nor ask for anything. Just let me stay a night. 
Maharaj pleaded in this compassion way, the Brahmachari. Vajiva felt compassion for the man. She went inside and let him stay on her porch. But just a little while later, Maharaj called out, Mother, give me a cot, meaning a kind of bed. I don't have one, Vajiba replied. Please give me the colored cot that, that's in the second room inside. Maharaj asked. Vajiva was amazed. She thought, how did this Bhava know what was inside my home? Meaning, Maharaj used his omniscient powers and told Vajiba to give something inside the room, a colored cot, that Maharaj had never even went inside. So Vajiba was obviously amazed. How did, how did this Bhava know what was inside my home, she's wondering. But then she thought, there are count, countless like him. What do I care? She gave the Brahmachari a bed, but thought nothing of him. Meaning she let go of everything. It was like, okay, no problem. Maharaj called out again, give me a mattress. Vajibai refused. So Maharaj again, there's a stack of mattresses inside. Please give me the new one in the middle. Again, Vajibai was like, how did this Brahmachari, who just came into my home a couple of minutes ago, know about all this? This is the first time I'm allowing him inside. One after another, Maharaj in the dress of a Brahmachari was showing miracles to Vajiba, but her faith did not budge. Pause right there. Suppose we are in the shoes of Vajiba. Sure, when the Brahmachari or our denial to allow anyone in, anyone can do that. But after allowing the person in, when Maharaj started to show his omniscient powers to Vajiba, one after another, what would we or how would we react in that position? Would we give in and believe that now instead of the Swaminarayan sect, instead of Ramda Swami, now this Swami or this Brahmachari is now who I believe in due to him showing us miracles. Let me tell you all, those who show miracles are not great or it doesn't mean that they are only great by showing miracles. Those who have the qualities of a sadhu according to the Srimad Bhagavat and the Vachnamrut, the 30 attributes of a sadhu are truly great in the eyes of Maharaj and in the eyes of this whole Swaminarayan sect. But one who believes that I will only believe Bhagwan or a sadhu to be great if they show me something, if they show me some kind of miracle, because we believe that spirituality is some kind of magic, that whatever, if we, if we, attain or if we go to mandir if we pray to bhagwan or if we pray to the ekantik satpurush for something he'll give it to us this is our intention and because he would fulfill our wish we pray this is most of people's mentality but they do not attain the fruits of going to mandir having the darshan of maharaj even associating with the Satpurush because they have this kind of desire, Sakam Bhavna, and due to that, they cannot ever attain Bhagwan. And Bhagwan would never become pleased on such a Bhagat. But those who realize that greatness is due to qualities, take our example, our Pujapada Guruji. At one time, in the beginning of our Gurukul, when our new school building had to be opened or built there was this very 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 rich donor that came to Puja Guruji encountered him and said this was Hare Krishna Maharaj testing Guruji for all of us showing us a charitra that Guruji's faith is like this so your faith in me should be like this but what had happened was this donor came 
and encountered Puja Guruji and came and sat in a meeting room with Guruji and said that I have millions and millions of rupees and I want to give it to you to build this school building. I had heard that you wanted to build a school building. Puja Guruji said yes. So is there any strings attached? The person said that only if you name this whole building behind my late mother who has passed away she was a great soul then I am more than willing to give you all the money you need to build this building at that time not even for a school building not even for funds money Buja Guruji accepted this offer why because Puja Guruji's vision was towards Maharaj that Maharaj was going to make this building and naming it after a person a person's mother who had died is not proper because we are doing all this for Maharaj and Maharaj will make this building Guruji denied right there and that person was shocked he cannot believe that that I'm giving my funds away just to put my mother's name on this school building and this saint is denying me and Guruji replied this whole trust will be named after Hare Krishna Maharaj this whole building will be named after Hare Krishna Maharaj because he is the one who is giving us the inspiration he is the one who is guiding us to make this whole building you can say and at that time that donor was left speechless and he left now again in this position just give you a hypothetical don't think you'll become like Guruji or in the position of Guruji but if you were with if you were in Guruji's position and in that time obtaining donations to build buildings or do anything was very very difficult Puja Guruji if you were in his position and you were given this offer would you say yes most definitely I will name it after your late mother so that this whole building can be finished or would you deny like Puja Guruji just think in your minds this is an experiment to test your faith in Maharaj not only so but we can even take the example that Puja Guruji could, could have said yes and this whole building would have been created and it would have been not a problem but even after he denied years after this building was made years after meaning time has spent many 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 hardships were dealt with and then the school building was got up yet Puja Guruji did not lose his faith in Hare Krishna Maharaj and even till today any works Puja Guruji does may it be in Vartal or may it be in any of our branches or may it be in Loya today a building uh, a mandir that is being built as of right now which will be unprecedented which will be beyond imagination in Gujarat which millions and millions of people will visit in the future everything Puja Guruji does he keeps Maharaj in the center due to that he's a hundred percent successful he believes that Bhagwan is Karta and he is Akarta due to that he's a hundred percent successful this is how much faith he has in Maharaj and countless day and night Maharaj fulfills miracles through Puja Guruji why because of his faith alone there is no other element involved but this strong upasana this strong faith that Hare Krishna Maharaj is Sarvopari this is just a life example that we can see right in front of our eyes but again going back in time at that time one after another Maharaj in the dress of a brahmacharya was showing miracles to Vajiba but her faith did not budge 
she gave him a mattress and went inside to sleep. Just then, she saw a bright light, hoping nothing had caught fire. She went out to check. She saw the Brahmachari, meaning Maharaj, had stretched his foot all the way until it touched a distant people tree. Meaning, Maharaj showed a very unusual miracle. Suppose that we were sleeping on a bed. And this bed was exactly the length of our whole body. Suppose that after the bed, two feet away in distance, there was a tree. What Maharaj showed was that at the edge of the bed, Maharaj's foot rested. Maharaj showed when Vajibai came out, his foot touching that two foot, that tree, though just two feet away from the cot, the bed, touching his feet. And from that foot, that toe, light was coming out. This is what miracle Maharaj showed. Nothing now, something as miraculous as this would attract anyone's faith. Just think. But Vajibai remained unaffected. She closed her doors and went to sleep as nothing had happened. The next morning, Maharaj took leave of the of the whole, you can say his uh, or her uh, home. Some time later, Vajibai visited Gadrida. Maharaj saw her and said, "Was it these feet?" that had touched your people tree or someone else's. Vajibha was surprised. She began to ask for forgiveness. Maharaj, that was you? You are our true you are the true Bhakta? Maharaj replied, I show I saw I showed you miracles to shake your faith, but you did not waver. Such were Sriji Maharaj's devotees. They were loyal, faithful and also staunch in what they believed in. Now going back to our experiment, this is just one small charitra of Sriji Maharaj's devotees, so a female devotee, that Maharaj had encountered and shown a miracle to and nothing had happened. But Maharaj had thousands and thousands of followers like this in his time who he showed miracles to, yet no no, not whatsoever. Faith had ever wavered. Hemraj Shet of Sundaryana, Nityanan Swami, Muktanan Swami, all these, his santos as well as devotees, showed great, great faith. What we have to look at from this is that how much faith do I possess in Maharaj and Guruji? Looking at how much faith we possess in Maharaj is a little more difficult, but Guruji, he is live, manifest here with us. If Puja Guruji were to tell us that leave home right now and come and stay in India, would it be possible? I can give you examples, live examples right now. The Mundal in Georgia, Macon Mundal. There is devotees there and there is kids that are there, that live there, are ready to give up their whole life, possessions, wealth in the commands of Puja Guruji. This is how much faith they possess. So don't think it's not possible. But it's just a matter of a mental perspective that we keep in our life that is enabling us to perform such kinds of tasks or leap of faith. But if we look around us, we have many, many elements. We have many, many devotees that possess such kind of faith. If we possess this faith, Maharaj will become pleased and he would grace us with his darshan. He would grace us with his compassion, his sight. And as a devotee of Bhagavan Swaminarayan, what else do you need? We have attained everything that we are supposed to attain. It's here with us. It's right in front of our eyes. Why expect more when everything is right in front of our eyes? Maharaj has met us from ahead. Puja Guruji has met us from ahead. Now there is nothing else left to do but to understand them. There is nothing else left to do 
but to keep firm faith in them and move on and move forward and you don't we won't even know it and this life's body will be over this body's life will be over and would be an akshardham our atma our soul so please experiment inside of your mind inside of your spiritual mentality of where you are of what elements you possess what elements you still need and slowly but surely move forward to please Maharaj Guruji and Santos saying this my humble Jai Swami ಪರ್ಣಿವೇಶರ್ಮಣೀಯದರ್ಶನಂ ಮಂದಹಾಸುಚಿರಾನುಜ ಪೂಜಿ ಸುರನರೋತ್ತಮೈರ್ಮುದ ಧರ್ಮನಂದನಮಹಂ ವಿಚಿಂತ ಧರ್ಮನಂದನಮಹಂ ವಿಚಿಂತ ಶ್ರೀಘನಶ್ಯಾಂ ಮಹಾರಾಜನೀಜ Almighty Supreme Lord, our beloved Kansyam Maharaj, Path Me Kachu Holy Brace and Pujya Path Guru Jai and all of your duties, Jai Swami Narayan. We are listening to some incident happen in Vadodara, in life of Bapu Bhai. How Maharaj came divinely with the Santo at the house of Bapu Bhai and how Maharaj himself even came. given up his own wish to bring Bapu Bhai's only son Ram Sevak into his Akshardham only because of his Santosh desire not to take Ram Sevak into Akshardham at that time. Now today some other incident happened in the life of Bapu Bhai and those incident also written in, in this Bhakta Chintamani's 145 chapter by Sadhguru Sinhra Skudanan Swami. कहू एक दिवस निवड़ी तेड़ी जम वामुनी मंडड़ी जम्या मुनी राखी नहीं मना तोय व्या मोदक घना क 
कहे बापू जम्या नहीं सत मटे वीयु अन्न अत्यंत तेरे बोलया छे गोपाड़ स्वामी भाई अमे राखी नहीं खामी Once upon a time, this Bapu Bai, whose satsang is only based upon Santo's katha, this Bapu Bai, whose satsang is based on his understanding, even his understanding, measured by Bhagwan Swami and himself, that his understanding is the true understanding in our satsang. His wisdom is like that of. the wisdom possessed by any great sant once bapu bai invited santo to his own home for making thard for maharaj and so that all santo can have dinner in bapu bai's home when sant uh, bapu bai invited to santo at the time gopalan swami and some other santo stay in vadodara city there he babu bai went to gopanand swami bow down to him perform dhan words to gopanand swami and then after he requested he prayed to gopanand swami so he please come to my home sanctify my home and please grace us with accepting our food something then gopanand swami says okay and gopanand swami and some other santo went to babu bai's home there he cleans up everything first then after making all the thals for maharaj at the time bhagwan swami narayan was not present in vadodara city uh, in a ma- in a human form but maharaj stay any other place so that santo have a small thakur ji meaning a small murti of maharaj so when thal is complete meaning all tables are uh, prepared then santo offered thal to that small form of maharaj santo uh, offered thal and prayed to maharaj and they did mansi puja after that after completing this ritual all santo said for the dinner and all santo ate full and as babu bai had too much affection for santo and he had intense uh, desire to feed santo so he himself requested gopanand swami to show all santo even what they eat regularly more than that then gopanand swami also because of babu bai's love for santo and his desire to feed santo uh, gopanand swami also so many times all the all these things like uh, sweet balls and everything to all santo many times now after completing uh, after completing the dinner all santo when they said for katha and all the other rituals at the time bapu bai went to kitchen and he saw there were many things in the kitchen remain untouched meaning unused like many ball uh, many uh, sweet balls many other uh, some rotlis or whatever they santo made so bapu bai came out and he asked gopanand swami swami today santo did not eat full of that stomach then gopanand swami gopanand swami said no i myself saw all this santo and i know that regularly santo eat even half of they eat today so they eat today too much more than what they regularly eat now bapu bhai as bapu bhai requested to gopanand swami then gopanand swami said no i myself saw all this santo then bapu bai said but swami there were many things in the kitchen which is unused so gopanand swami said that's 
uh, every, as we believe that everything happened only because of Bhagwan's wish, Bhagwan's desire, then believe this time, if your tables remain unused, then that's also because of Maharaj's desire. And Gopalan Swami instructed Babu Bhai, don't worry about it. This is happened because of Maharaj's desire. And as we made this thal, we offered it to Bhagwan. And you have only desire to feed Santo and devotees. So don't worry about it. But please wait for some time. Some devotees might be come here and they will eat. Then Babu Bhai have trust in Gopanam Swami's words because he many times experienced such divine incident. Some miracles happened because of Gopanam Swami's words. And that's why he had full trust, full faith in the words of Gopanam Swami. So Babu Bhai said, it's okay. As Gopanand Swami said that some devotees will come, then definitely some devotees will come here. While they, while Bapu Bhai and Gopanand Swami talking in this way, at the same time, Bhagwan Swami and himself, along with 20 parsats, Sankhyogi parsats, meaning, uh, those who stay in a household or who stay in a home but for a certain period of time they renounce their home when Maharaj call them and they renounce their home and everything their relation and everything and they enter uh, they come to Maharaj and they stay with Maharaj and Santo this is the system in our satsang so this Sankyogi Parsado they come with Maharaj. Maharaj at the time actually stay in some other place which is very far from Vodhudra. But Maharaj divinely come to Bapubai's home along with some parsas. Because Gopanan Swami said to Bapubai that some devotee might be come here to eat this food. The most important thing here is that first we should have from faith in the words of Ekandik Sant, like that of like that of Babu Bhai's faith in the words of Gopanan Swami. Whether we believe it or not, but what Satpuru says that will definitely be true. In many times we even experience in our life and life of many other devotees and santo that what Guruji says that will become true. If one has faith in words of Guruji, if he follow Guruji's instruction, then he will get benefit. And if one ignores Guruji's instruction, then he will not even experience Guruji's intention or Guruji's divinity. And as Bapu Bhai had trust and faith in words of Gopal and Swami, so even Maharaj was very, very, very far from Vodhudra city. Still, he divinely appeared there. But for that, we have to trust. Just as Bapu Bhai had trust in Gopanan Swami's words so that to fulfill his his trust and faith in the words of Sant and to making true of uh, making true the words of Sant Bhagwan himself divinely appeared there but for that we have to faith in the words of Ekantik Satpurus today we have faith we have trust in many other things just as in New Jersey, we stay here in the time of winter. Every day, we search in Google, Twitter.com. In 
in weather.com we see a weather of our own town just as here we stay in Raritan we type Raritan and when it shows that after two days there will snow 10 inches snow we have faith in weather.com we have faith in satellite we have faith in the this forecasting system and we we have such kind of faith that we believe that will be definitely snow after two days and for that we sprayed salt and everything we prepare everything but many times in our life we find out that we have no such level of trust we have no such level of faith in the words of our Puja Guruji if we have if we keep the same level of trust in a uh, words of Guruji then we will have no any kind of requirements to perform any other endeavor to attain God himself because his words and the faith in the words of Ekantik Satpurus is enough to realize God this is what the teachings from this incident Niskudan Swami give us this message from this incident now Bapu, Bapu Bhai have faith in Gopanam Swami's words so Maharaj divinely appeared there and Maharaj asked Bapu Bhai if you have any food prepared we came here with uh, from very far distance so we all were very tired and this parsa they they were very hungry so if you have anything uh, prepared right now so please feed them because we want to live for this city uh, in very short period of time so we have no time if you have anything prepared anything ready so feed them then Babu Bhai became very happy in his in his heart that what Gopan Swami says that will become true and Maharaj himself come to my home and I have chance not to feed only these santos who stay in the, in the city but I have a chance to feed all those parsons who stay day and, ra day and night with Maharaj now in this way Bapu Bhai became very happy and he feed all those Sangyogi Parsado and Maharaj in this way actually those Parsads they were not even present there but Maharaj himself took the forms of all those Parsads and Maharaj himself eat these sweet balls and all other things which is uh, remain unused in uh, Babu Bhai's home in this way if we have faith if we have trust in the words of Ekantik Satpurus then Maharaj will Maharaj himself will come to us to fulfill our to fulfill our faith in the words of Ekantik Satpurus as well as to fulfill and making true the words of Ekantik Satpurus why because just as Gopan Swami said some duties will come how he said that is the question arising in our mind but just as we believe when we type Google Earth in Google then whatever place we want to see in this earth then that location Google Earth will show us in the same way and we, we believe that this is the exact place what I want to see we have faith in a satellite we have faith in our computer we have faith in these technologies in the same way just believe just as even those who do not believe in God such kind of scientists they only believe in 
materialism and their intellect made their intellect invented such technologies and such satellites and such satellite invented by non believers non devotees and that will show us the exact place or location or exact monument or whatever in this earth in our computer then just ask the question to your mind why it is not possible that the sun who has the power like that of god cannot see what will happen or what is happen or what was happen in certain place or certain area in this world if we think in this way then maharaj maharaj will give us some some kind of understanding maharaj will himself give us some kind of true knowledge the eternal knowledge which is called as the true knowledge for understanding god's form if we understand in this way the form of ekantik satpurush then that will lead us to understand bhagwan's divine form in this way in this incident gopalan swami's word become true by maharaj uh, maharaj divinely appeared there in home of bapu bai with the uh, with the another divine form of some sankhya ki parshad and uh, bapu bai have a chance to feed maharaj himself and even bapu bai bapu bai's faith in the words of gopalan swami that will also become fulfilled this is what the incident written in bhakta chintamani by sadguru sri Go- niskuran swami but this a sm- this is this a small incident give us the big message to maintain our understanding in such a way that we will have a from faith and from belief and such kind of understanding that what my guru ji says to me or to others that will definitely become true this is the only message from this incident by saying this jai swami narayan shri ganshyam maharaj ni je श्रीपतिम श्रीधरम सर्वेश्वर भक्तिधर्मात्मज वासुदेव हरि माधव केशव कामद कारण स्वामीनारायण नीलकंठम भजे श्रीघनश्याम महाराज नीज